morning. I hope you're all well. In case you're new here, I'm Susie and I'm from The Grey Brunette. And on this channel, I talk about anything and everything to do with being this age. I'm 47, so I'm in perimenopause, which is wonderful. And if you're anywhere in your 40s or beyond, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyway, today I just done my hair. Well, I didn't actually do my hair. I let it dry too long naturally. And I just use a hairdryer to try and tidy up and it's sticking up a little bit all over the place, but I'm having it cut, thank God, in a couple of days. So it'll be a bit easier to tame because there is just so much of it. Even though it's short, I have a lot of hair, like a lot. It's just, it's just, <laughs> so much of it so I'm looking forward to that and yeah I've, um, I've actually probably not had it cut for a couple of months um, cause, because of Christmas and all that stuff and my stylist is super busy so I had to wait a little while to get booked in so I'm looking forward to that and in the meantime I've, um, I've not actually been up to that much I've done quite a bit of shopping because my shopping time is the sales because I love bargains. I am like the bargain queen. And um, so I have bought quite a lot of things lately in the sales because I, I tend not to shop so much, you know, in between, um, like I say, because I like a good bargain. Um, and yeah, perhaps, perhaps I will show you some of the things that I've bought lately. Um, but for now, I really need to get another cup of coffee. So I've got dressed and I'm just making a coffee. It's so cold in this house. Excuse the noise. Just get a spin. Who follows me? <laughs> I'm so excited about this new gimbal that I've got. Because wherever I go, if I keep it still, it follows me, it's really cool. Anyway, so what was I saying? It's so cold in this house. So we, we're we renting this pre this place at the moment um, until we build a new house. So it's all a bit complicated, but we live in this little cul-de-sac. And we lived in the, the house just over there for about 15 years. And about five years ago, we bought the plot like next door intending to build you know the house that we really want and everything that we want you know like a, a huge garage for michael that's my husband um a nice big walk-in wardrobe i keep calling it mine but he keeps saying that it's part, partly his we'll see about that um so we bought the plot and i don't know if, how much you know about bureaucracy in portugal but Paperwork and things, it can be such a nightmare. Anyway, we're five years on and we finally pretty much got the go-ahead to start building. So we're, um, last year we actually sold the house that we were living in because we um, had some friends that wanted to buy it and much rather have friends living next door than somebody that we, you know, we don't know that could have like 10 dogs, uh, which to me wouldn't be an issue because I love dogs, but you know, noisy neighbours, you just don't know. So we much rather have somebody that we like and we know. So they they moved in last year and we were very kindly offered to rent this place from a, from a friend who only comes down from Lisbon a couple of times a year. Um, but it's really, really cold and there's just, there's hardly any insulation in this house. Um, so it's a bit, it's a bit chilly. All right, let me see if we can walk. So, all right, we're gonna go back into the warmest room, which is my room, my little office. But this house, oh, it's a lovely little house. Well, it's a big house actually, but it's just, like I said, no insulation. And it's lovely in the summer, but in the winter it's freezing. And therefore, getting dressed is very interesting because you just don't know what to wear. Oh, tip up too much. It's so difficult to to put clothes on because there is we have got a fire in the living room, um, a little fire that we put in, 
but the heat just goes straight up through the roof. So, so let me show you what I've got on. So, I am wearing a woolly dress, which is really warm, which is old, which I got from TK Maxx probably about, I don't know, seven years ago. I've got fleece lined tights on. I've got thermal top underneath it. And I've got my Ugg boots today because they're just warm as long as well as thermal socks. And I've got this lovely warm scarf that a friend brought me a few years ago that I haven't really worn much because it's normally too warm. So um, let's just move this down a bit. Oh. So it's difficult for me at the moment to do like outfit um, videos because it's too damn cold to be wearing different clothes and changing and stuff. So that's why I haven't done any, you know, outfit videos lately. So um, now you know the reason. But back to the house, the building situation, um, it's, which is very exciting because we've, we got the go ahead. We did get a builder to do part of the work. My, Michael is going to be doing the majority of it because that's what he does. But we needed a builder to do like the steel works and stuff. And we did have one and he let us down at the last minute. So unprofessional. But luckily we've, we've um, got a couple at the moment that we're talking to. So we're hoping that we might actually be able to start, you know, within the next few weeks, fingers crossed. So um, that's the cat trying to get in the wardrobe. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's my sort of life update at the moment. Um, and yeah, so I was going to show you outfits, but I, it's just, it's a bit cold. It's glorious outside. The, it's beautiful blue skies and in the sun it's really warm and it's it's beautiful to just sit out there um, but I can't really wo work out there because you know you can't really see the computer can you when the when it's bright um, light so uh, yeah that's that's my life at the moment um, oh, I haven't even drunk my coffee yet I can show you some of the things that I bought because I have actually styled a couple of them on the blog um, and if you're not following the blog then you won't have seen them on there. So let me show you just a couple of the things that I've bought and then I'll show you how I've styled them. So one of my favourite things that I bought recently in the sale was this fabulous blue print top from Zara. Um, it's a real sort of retro style. Um, and it's, it's really funky and I love it. It's just really fun. And it's got sort of quite a, sort of a deepish color. So it's obviously got a bit of sort of a seventies inspiration. Um, and I'll throw up a picture to show you how I styled this the first time up here. Um, and I think I styled it with, it was jeans, I'm not sure if it was blue jeans or like really, really blue jeans or just normal blue jeans, black boots, um, and I did actually put a sleeveless sweater over the top, which was quite fun. So that was that was a bargain from Zara. I think it was probably about twelve ninety nine. Um, let's see, but let me show you a dress which you might still be able to get in Zara. But I actually tried this dress on um, when the when the now before the sales, um, and I really liked it. I was with Michael and a friend, and I tried it on. But I resisted buying it for some reason, um, even though I really loved it. And then when I was in the sale the other day, I spotted it. No, it wasn't in there. It was online. I spotted it online in the sale. So I knew the size that I that fitted me because I'd already tried it. And I and I grabbed it and it was a real bargain. Um, I think the original price was 40 euros. And I think I paid, I think it was less than 20. Less than 20, I think. And it's beautiful. Um, the print... It's got like, um, I don't know what you call, how you call it, but it's, it's, I have to be careful because it's probably very easy to pull, but it's beautiful and it's really long and it's cut on the bias, which I wouldn't normally like. Um, well, I didn't like it when I was younger, but now I can see actually that it is actually very flattering, but it's a beautiful dress. And I thought I would probably wear it dressed down with, um, I want a black sleeveless um, jumper I think to wear over the top the bigger the better I think because I think a fitted might be a little bit uh, 
yeah maybe not not the best and I thought I would wear it with some big chunky black boots and I'll show you the kind of boots that I will wear it with because I have a few pairs so these ones this kind of style has really been in this this year and hopefully I think it's going to continue sorry it was in last year and I do believe that it's going to continue and um, being in style because it's still in the shops these ones were from Stradivarius and if you're still looking for a pair and Stradivarius still got the sales on you need to get get there because they're, they're like I think I paid 20 euros so they'll be like they'll probably be 20 dollars um 20 pounds something like that but they're really comfortable and it's they've got a sort of squarish um um whatever you call it perimenopausal brain words have just completely gone out of my vocabulary anyway so they're the ones they've got this cute little like snake skin print at the back super comfortable even with the heel so i would wear those with that dress or if i'm going a little bit more eveningy and i want something a little higher i would go for these which also came from stradivarius and I've still got the tag on because I've not worn them. It says twenty nine ninety nine, but they weren't. They were nineteen ninety nine for them. Aren't they fabulous? They've got a real seventies vibe. I love them, and they're very comfortable, even though they've got that massive heel. So that's another option as well. And then, if I wanted to wear something not so dark, I would go for something like this, which I bought from a local. Um, shoe shop here in Portugal which is called Guimarães and they were at the time they weren't in the sale which is quite unusual for me and I paid 60 euros for those but they are incredibly comfortable but sadly I don't know if you can see the leather is starting to um, not deteriorate I can't think of the word but it needs I think I need to put some leather and um, cream on it um, but they are probably the most comfortable boots that I've ever had. They are, I love them. I've been wearing them to death since I bought those. So yeah, so, so that's, that's a couple of the things that I bought. Uh, let me show you one other thing <laughs> that we bought in the sale um, a couple of weeks ago and I saw them, I was with Michael and I saw these, these boots, because I'm obsessed with boots. I saw these boots and I made a beeline for them. I was like, oh my God, Michael, look. <laughs> Aren't they fab? Look at that heel. <laughs> so I saw them and I was like, oh my God, I love them. They're beautiful. They were ori original price, 119 euros. And they were half price. And there was one pair left and it was my size, 39. So I thought, well, I'm, I'm gonna try them. I'm not gonna buy them. But I'm going to try them. So I tried them on and I hobbled about them in the shop and um, we had a laugh <laughs> and then I put them away. I said, well, I'll never, I'll never wear them. It's pointless buying them. So we had a laugh about it and I put them down and we left the shop. And then for the rest of the time that we were out, I kept saying, oh, I can't stop thinking about those boots. Um, <laughs> like literally, I, every, every five minutes, I'm like, Michael was laughing and he obviously thinks they're quite sexy so he was you know okay with it so I was like all right we'll go back in and if they're there then it's meant to be I'm meant to have them and if they're not fine I won't it's not a problem because you know the likelihood of me wearing them is pretty slim anyway we went back in for something else so I had a look and when I say I had a look I literally scoured <laughs> the shop and they'd gone oh I was gutted I was oh so I was like, oh, well, it's not meant to be. And then as we were walking out of the shop, we just walked, we were just walking out and I just sort of looked down and I saw this sparkle and I went, <gasps> <laughs> I was like, Michael, look, they're here, they're here. So I grabbed them and I was literally hook, walking around the shop like this <laughs> until I bought them and I bought them. And um, I don't know when I'm gonna wear them. Um, I mean, at the moment they're in this wardrobe, 
where I can't see them, but in the new house, they'll probably be on display on a shelf somewhere where I can admire them and wear them for special occasions, but they are fabulous, aren't they? <laughs> That's the tale of the, of the sequin boots. <laughs> So I've got a thing about sequins at the moment and I am going to blame Trini from Trini London because she's, if you watch her videos on YouTube, you'll know that she's obsessed with, with sequins too, or um, rhinestone sequins, that kind of thing. And she's always wearing, um, you know, sparkly stuff like that with bright colours and Oh, she's just fabulous. If you if you if you're not following her, um, I'll put the link in the um, description because you really should be. And she's really inspired me, um, enormously over the past few months. Um, she is. I think she's uh, probably the reason ha why I've kind of been finding my style lately. It's definitely because of her. Um, and if you follow the blog, you'll you'll know. You'll probably have seen or have noticed. Um, that my style has sort of become, I've become more me. Um, when I get dressed, it, I just feel more me and, I, and it's because of her. So I definitely recommend um, watching her. So where was I? The sequins and the rhinestones. So I've been on, oh, sequins, rhinestones, gold and silver. That's what I'm looking for. So accessories like that because they will go with everything and that's what I'm on the hunt for. Um, <laughs> I sound dreadful, don't I? That's what I would really like to add to my ever-growing wardrobe. Um, let me add here, I don't have any kids. So if you're, if you're thinking, my God, she spends money, you know, just constantly. I don't have kids. Um, I haven't got to worry about anything to do with that so it's just me and Michael um, and we just you know we enjoy life we earn money and if, if we want to spend it we spend it and we you know we we have fun with it and you know we we it was sad that we were unable to have children but we we can enjoy it in other ways so now that's out of the way back to the rhinestones so what I was going to say is that I found online while I was looking um I was looking at the sales on, on the, one of these sites and for some reason I just clicked on something that wasn't the sale and a pair of trainers or sneakers if you're in the States, they popped up um, and they're rhinestone covered um, trainers and they are absolutely, they look gorgeous and they are, how much are they, 40, 50 euros I think they are and it's from Bershka, um, I'll put the link below so you can have a look but I keep waiting for them to come to become available in store so that I can try them on because I don't want to buy them online in case they're uncomfortable because to me um sneakers trainers have to be comfortable I I wear them all the time I have got you know quite a large collection of trainers and they have to be comfortable I mean because I just won't wear them and, and that will drive me crazy but I love the idea of these rhinestone sneakers because I do like dressing dressy outfits I like dressing them down and I think a pair of rhinestone trainers would be really cool so they're not in store at the moment but they are online as I said I'll put the link below so you can have a look and let oh, yeah I'd be curious to see what you think of them but I think they look really really cool with them wide leg trousers and stuff like that and wide leg jeans which I'm obsessed with so um that's what I'm that's what I'm sort of keeping an eye out for at the moment but the the trainers that I've been wearing with wide leg trousers lately um are inspired by Trini um because <clears throat> are these it's like a it's a, a thicker sole so slight platform completely white trainer. These ones are Pumas. I got these in the sale um, last time we went to Lisbon. But they look fabulous with anything that's wide leg. It doesn't matter what colour they are, it goes really well. And that's again, that's something else that Trini recommends um, that everybody has, especially if you're little. And I am five foot three and a bit, so I am little. Um, so I, I love those um, and I've, I've worn them a lot already. 
while we're on the subject of trainers, um, let me just show you something else. So if you read the blog, you may know already about these, but my husband is obsessed with ASICS trainers. Um, and he's been going on, he's been buying them for a couple of years now and he loves them and he finds them super comfortable. And he finally encouraged me to get some. So let me start from the beginning. So you see now how obsessed we are with our clothes shopping. So I went with him one day and I found a pair that I really liked the look of. So I bought them. And they're really cool. So I got, I've had these probably a couple of years and I've even worn them with like a, a, sat, a long satin skirt. Um, I'll see if I can find the picture of that, that outfit. Um, Cause that was actually quite cool, but they're really nice, but they're a bit small. So I had to take out the, um, the inner sole to put them to fit. And then without the inner sole, they're not that comfortable. So that was those. And then last year we were back in because whenever we're in, <laughs> the outlet shopping centre, he has to go into ASICS. So we went in and I spotted these and I really liked those. And they're, like I said, it's the outlet, so they're always much cheaper than normal. So I bought those and I wear them whenever I want some, something grey. And they're, you know, they're okay. They're, they're sort of comfortable-ish. And then Michael had been wearing this other style and he encouraged me to give them a try. <laughs> and I wear them a lot and I will throw up a picture of how I style these they are so light like they're just amazing so comfortable these are the most comfortable trainers I've ever had in my life seriously they are amazing and they're really fun really fun and they they come in lots of different colors Michael's got a couple of pairs um and I just I love them I wear them I actually wear them around the house a lot as well like as during the day instead of slippers because they're just so light they, I just love them so then <laughs> we were there again and I saw these and I had to have them obviously because they're fabulous I'll throw you know you don't just have to wear things like this just with tracksuit bottoms you can wear them and look cool you know why not they're fun aren't they I just love them. So that's all my ASICS trainers. So let's put those back in there. But my, my other obsession is sketches. So I'll show you. So I have three pairs of these. So this is, seems to have become a video about trainers now, but so these are the ones that I was always living in before. So they're sketches and they've got kind of a, like a 70s vibe. Would that be right, 70s? So I've got them in white and in black and in red. I love those. Again, I'll throw up some, some pictures just to show you how I style outfits with, with these kinds of trainers. Um, but I love those. So I guess I should probably stop there, otherwise you'll be bored to tears. But that's my sort of life lately update. And there's a few style ideas slipped in there. If you um, if you like wearing chunky boots with dresses and trainers with all kinds of things. Um, and I guess I'll be back hopefully when the house warms up, <laughs> if that happens, and I can do some proper outfit videos for you. Um, I suppose I could get dressed outside, couldn't I? Because it's certainly warmer out there. <laughs> I'm not going to do that because all eyes will be on me. Anyway, anyway, if you are still watching, I so appreciate it. Um, I know I have a tendency to babble, um, especially at the moment with all these bloody hormones going on everywhere. Um, so thanks so much for watching and I hope you'll give this video a like um, and uh, subscribe if you're not subscribing already and if you think any of your friends would enjoy my video content please encourage them to subscribe too because it all really really helps um, and I shall see you soon have a great day a great week and I hope it's not too cold wherever you are take care I'll see you soon thanks so much bye <laughs>